up, everybody? Welcome to a Sunday. I think it's Sunday, right? <laughs> Sunday afternoon stream. Uh, it's random. I know. I got some boxes on Friday that came in the mail, and uh, I did not get a chance to open them. And then I had a wedding all day yesterday. And finally, I get to open these boxes. Um, I'm super pumped. So I thought I'd do a stream. And uh, I don't know if you could tell from the tweets and the posts today, but uh, Matthew, um, he's been making all the rounds on our shows and stuff, but uh, he actually sent me something that's pretty damn cool. And I said, damn, I'll get over it. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, and I'm ready to open it. I'm super, super pumped to see what's inside these boxes. Um, let me see here. I was just going to jump on something real quick while we're talking. How you guys doing? Can you hear me and see me? Okay. I'm watching the chat. I want to make sure you guys can hear me and see me. Everybody's saying, Hey, greetings, critters. Kit's been watching a little Narice lately with the critters there. I see you. Awesome. Nice. Everybody's good. Hey, Jerry, while you're here, since you're here, I just thought I'd show this real quick. Um, a week ago or so. Hey, Jake from State Farms here. I have not had to acknowledge you in quite a while, man. It's good to see you. And there's no acknowledgement here. Definitely none for Jake for State Farm. <laughs> so, um, Man, it's been like a couple of weeks, and I set this envelope right next to my station here to show this on Hot Makes, uh, and I f keep forgetting because it's an envelope, and I don't usually have envelopes. But, Jerry, thanks, man. He sent me this pretty sweet uh, sticker. I really appreciate that. It's going to go on the filament cabinet. So I have a filament cabinet um, that I've found used. Well, it was a metal cabinet is what it was. And I found it used and I cleaned it up and put shelving inside of it. And I'm going to pack that thing full of stickers on the outside. I like it. Thank you for sending that. I really appreciate that. Um, mine has not arrived yet. It might take a little bit to get to you, Andrew S. <laughs> uh, but so we're here. A couple quick uh, updates before we get diving in. I just wanted to shout out everybody out there. Um, we are almost halfway to the goal of 20K. We started at 5,000, well, we started at 15,000 subscribers at the beginning of this month, and I'm giving away a free printer because of that and a whole bunch of other stuff on November 2nd on our Hot Make Show at 6 p.m. Central. But I said if we got to 20,000 subscribers by the end of the month, I would give away two printers, and I'm going to do that if we get to 20,000. Right now, I just pulled it up. We are at... 17,219 subscribers. Uh, you guys are awesome. In 18 days, we've gone up um, about 2,219 subscribers. So keep it rolling. Let's get to 20K, spread the wealth, um, and, and we're going to keep rocking. I, you know, I can't wait to give away some stuff. I'm super pumped, and I can't wait to hit that 20K mark either. So thank you guys for being awesome out there. I know we have... Um, you know, a few people watching and I, I really appreciate you guys watching and liking and commenting on the videos and then turning in when we go live either here or uh, on Monday night on hot mix. We have an amazing show tomorrow. If you guys did not hear yet, um, we have Sven from clock spring coming on the mastermind behind all the clock spring stuff is going to be on our show tomorrow night. It is uh, confirmed. I, I did some testing with him. Um, Friday night, and it is confirmed this is the first interview like this he's ever done. So he's never done another one, and uh, he's going to be with here, be here with us on Monday night, and we're going to pick his brain, all the hard questions. Um, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. So I'm I'm pretty pumped about that. Um, nice Rover, good job. Congrats on getting towards your goal. Thank you so much. It's North. Nice. Everybody, hi. And, uh, you know, like I said, this is just kind of a random stream. I got some boxes I wanted to open, and I thought I'd do it on camera. It won't be that long, an hour or less probably, just because um, I think there's some other streams going on. I I was going to check YouTube. Does anybody know if, if Len and James are streaming today? Um, 
I was going to jump on uh, Glenn's um, let's see, fun king. Really? Oh, that didn't work. So I was going to see if they're streaming because I don't want to jump on their uh, party. Um, can't wait. They are. Okay. They're streaming now? What? How come I didn't get a notification? Oh, crap. Oops. I thought they streamed at five my time. I totally screwed that up. Uh, my fault. Sorry about that, Glenn and James. Um, I, I apologize, but nice. It's North. That is awesome. He, uh, It's North says it just to let you know, I'm a big fan and you're the reason I bought an Ender 3v2. I really hope you love your Ender 3v2. Um, one of mine is sitting like right over here on the ground because I don't have room right here. And another one I have in a box up there that I'm going to do some uh, fun stuff with. Um, got time zones. Yes, I screwed that up. I thought they were an hour after me. Stream war taking over. I love it. I should chat Glenn right now. I'll be like, stream wars. Tyler West is in the house all the way. Now he's up north. How's Alaska treating you, Tyler? First layer issues. Let us know what first layer issues you're having, and maybe one of us, uh, we can help you out with that. Uh, plenty of room. Yeah, that's right. There's definitely plenty of room. And if you guys really want to get crazy, you could stream multiple people, but your heads might explode from too much info. Alaska is awesome. That's awesome. Um, <laughs> Just do your thing. Uh, we're good. This is, like I said, this is random. This is like, uh, let's just do something. Um, stream, and I got... So this is this is box number one here. It says Jim, two of two. So really, that's box number two, not one, right? And uh, let me just make sure there's no shipping info. There is. We'll just do this way. It's a big box. This is box number uh, one of two. And I did pop the tops open so I wouldn't have to worry about that um, on the stream because I'm sitting. I don't have a table with me right now. What are we doing, Travis? Uh, that's a good question. So I gave a quick a quick update on the the contest. Um, we are about halfway to the goal of twenty thousand. I need about twenty five hundred more subscribers, right around there, and we'll give away another three uh, D printer. So let's do that. Um, the edges are curling. Oh, what else are you going to miss? In? I don't mean to jump ship there. Uh, what else are we doing? We're going to open a couple boxes that I got sent from uh, Matthew Nicholas. And I am super pumped to see what's inside. I, uh, he, he just chatted me and said, Hey, what's your address? Um, I got something for you. And, uh, you know, he's an awesome guy. And I, I had my eye on some stuff that he had. So I'm wondering, I'm wondering if that's what it could be. Um, the edges are curling up on my big prints and the first few layers seem scratchy. If that makes sense. Are you a little too close to your bed it's north um if they seem scratchy you could be dragging someone else could pop in there too if they have any ideas but yeah um text your friend let's get that printer that's right that's right i uh, i don't know what it is yet i mean that's the crazy thing um the second printer will happen and maybe i'll announce that this week maybe i'll announce what it is if if we hit it um Nice. Jerry's going to do a giveaway at 3,000 subs. He's about 1785 right now. If the underside of your print is scratchy or might not be close enough. There you go. Uh, Tyler says, too close or too high? Or extrusion multiplier on the first layer. There you go. That's a good one. I, I thought a little too close because he might be dragging, but that is a very good point. If your extrusion multiplier or your first layer, your you know your first layer flow rate, I guess um, I'm trying to remember what they call it in Kira. It's been a minute since I used Kira. Um, if your first layer is, say, you're saying 105 percent on your first layer, maybe you're just it's too much. You need to back that off a little bit. Um, I've been using Prusa Slicer for so, <laughs> for so long now. I can't remember all the Kira thing, you know, all the all the Kira uh, lingo. But I need to jump back into that. Um, a touch sensor with auto bed leveling, and it might be my Z access binding. Check that out. I have a, a video on checking your Z um, for for binding. There, check that out. It does pertain to the V two. Also, um, if 
if you do that, you can actually use um, Z offset or baby stepping. You might be able to fix it that way. Um, yeah, there you go. Initial layer flow rate kit. There you go. What's this curiosity talk about? <laughs> That's funny. All right, here we go. So I, I gave it about 10 minutes here because I wanted to make sure we got past the ads and people jumped in if they wanted to jump in. Um, I know, you know, people are like, what the heck's in the box? And and so am I, to be honest, it's going to be awesome. Initial layer line width is another one. Sean Gold, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, but uh, I think we should get this thing unboxed. And uh, I mean, if, if we're going to unbox it, I think we should probably bring in the man who sent it to me, who literally just popped into my stream right now. How you doing? Hey, what's going on, man? <laughs> so so I, I chatted you with a link and said, hey, I'm going to go live. And you're like, I'm 15 minutes. I Give me 15 minutes. I'm not there yet. And uh, so, so just so you guys know, I literally just sent him the link the, what, 15, 17 minutes ago. I don't even know. So it was a surprise that he's jumping in and I was going to do it without him. And I thought, you know what? We should bring him in. Why not? <laughs> He's the one that made it. That was a yeah. That was a mad rush across town. Last, last oh time. man, I'm last sorry. Kind of funny dude, not on my timetable. <laughs> um, I love it, and we got a lot of people in the stream, and I really appreciate that. And again, thanks everybody for the uh, subs and the likes and the comments and I keep love doing it. that stuff. YouTube loves it. Uh, Matt, you've been you've been making the rounds we'll call it on the on the uh view tubes and the social medias and <laughs> and uh yeah i recently you were just on jerry's stream the 3d printing and painting stream yeah um and you're working on the ecto one is it done yet no <laughs> <laughs> no i uh i i actually um the the update number five is uploading as we speak but it was like 30 some odd gigs um, oh geez, it's kind of a long one. I think I filmed it at uh, I don't know, like eleven thirty or midnight last night. Uh, <laughs> and uh, you guys get to see it. Kind of my 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 weird plan A kind of sort of work after like five tries. So you get to see four failures first. Nice. Uh, so hopefully it's helpful for other folks that are building it. That you know, yeah. Hey, that's awesome, man. I. I think I don't show enough of failures in my videos and that's something I really do need to do because it's part of this. It's part of making, it's part of creating. And I well, just, I just had one right over here. I should grab it. I I'm working on a, a laser project just for the heck of it. And, uh, I totally overburned the, uh, the scratch paper I'm working on. <laughs> so I'm, I'm running it again as we're, as we're talking, but, um, I should bring that over. It still looks cool. It's just overburned. Yeah, I think taking the time to uh, to kind of do like post game wrap ups on these projects or like an immediate like follow up just to go, hey, you know, this didn't work, and 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 here's why. Like either I goobered something in the settings or mechanical failure, in which case how to fix it. Um, yeah, you know, I think we can learn just as much from the failures, if not more so than the than the successes. I agree. It's Norris that I probably have a hole in my floor now. Let me grab this thing real quick. Oh. So I'm, I'm just uh, testing some theories in my shorts and t-shirt here. But I'm working on scratch paper with the uh, the, the little um, Ortur laser I have. And um, uh, this, is, this is what I'm working on. Oh, that's cool. So is it that gradient paper again? Yeah, so it's it should be the same thing as this. Yeah. But what happened was I I I'm pretty sure I overburned the heck out of it. Um so I, I actually think that looks I think of, it looks it looks pretty cool that better. way. I think it looks better than than had it been like all rainbowy just just due right. to the subject matter. Like it's got that kind of antique look to it. It does. It does look awesome. So this is um uh, Nikki Norton is the man who really dialed in and, and kind of came up with the process for these indelible white tiles. And they look like this. And these are the ones you can scratch, you can sand, you can dump acetone. It, it's, it's in the tile. It's not coming out. Well, yeah. he's working on um, in, in a group he has, he does this monthly thing just for bragging rights. 
and you can print or you can do a picture. And this was the picture this month. So they started voting today and I was like, crap, I didn't do it. You know? So I, I jumped on and I was like, I'm going to do it in rainbow. It's going to be awesome. And, um, I think, I think it came out really cool. The thing I, like I said, the only thing I see is that I probably overburned it for the rainbow, but I still think it looks pretty awesome. I think it looks I mean, rad. The, the picture itself came out really awesome. Well, and like anytime you do like antiquing in Photoshop, it always either goes to that sepia or it goes to the blue. That's and true. Having it kind of washed out like that. I don't know. I dig it. Like I said, you know. <laughs> yeah, just a little a little Plus, overpower. So so I'm uh, hoping the next uh, I'm hoping this next burn, I turned the power down by 30%. And this is with the new laser diode I got. And, and, um, so it's, I think the laser diode's a little more powerful than I was used to because the old one burnt out. I, it may have been just degraded from the factory. Right. Um, but everything I'm doing, I had to turn down quite a bit on this one and I'm like, Oh, all right. What's the uh, wop on that new one? Uh, well, or tour says, wow. Um, or tour says like 20 Watts, but really what that is, is input. So it's about a, a between five and five and a half is what it puts out. Yeah, right on. I should. Uh, Chris Travis, that's a great, great idea. My wife's uh, band CD covers on scratch paper. That would be sweet. Yes. But but anyways, people are here because we're going to unbox a couple <laughs> of boxes you sent me. And, uh, and you know, uh, full disclosure, he, he just said, like, hey, what's your address? I'm going to send you something. I, I, I think you're going to like this. And, uh, I mean... I'm not going to lie. Anything you do is going to be better than I can do. Cause I don't do that stuff. Right. But, but he, he, he told me like, just so you know, this was just thrown together. It's nothing special. Um, I can tell it's not an Iron Man mask. Cause that's right behind you. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, there you go. Um, but, but I'm super pumped to get these things open. So I, I cut the top of the boxes open. And everything's still wrapped in there. I'm going to pull it out, and, and we're going to check it out. But do you have anything to say before we do that? Oh, I don't know, man. You know, honestly, just uh, just thank you. Thank you to, to you, and thank you to everybody in the community. Everybody's just been really cool and chill. And thanks for those of you that have jumped on and followed my little fledgling channel. And, um, yeah, I don't know. Everybody just keep being rad. Like, this was just uh, – I didn't think this was going to pop up like this. This was just a – Thank you to Jim just because he's been swell. So, so don't everybody expect on getting stuff in your <laughs> mailbox. <right? laughs> so, all right, let's do this. So, uh, what box should I open first? The 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 bigger or the smaller box? Um, go with go with the smaller one first because then at least it just gives hints. And if you can't figure out the hints, well. I don't know. Then you should send the bigger box to somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, Dustin <laughs> Barrett, if you're talking about the contest, um, I don't remember if I left the link in the description of this one for the contest. Um, otherwise, you can you can sign up to for my contest. Let me get that link, and I'll drop it in the description here because I almost forgot about it. But uh, let's see. Just so you guys know, only 1,285 users have even entered. Uh, it looks like a whole bunch of entries, but that's because I never used Gleam before and I made everything worth like five points or something. So when you have so many people and then they all do everything, it looks like a whole ton of entries. But um, let's see. Here it is. I just want to get this out there before we start because I won't forget. So if you want to jump in the uh, contest to give that I'm going to give away on November 2nd. That is the link. All right, here we go. Smaller box. <laughs> so. I can't believe you waited so long. I can't either. Like, how, how were you as a kid? Like, no, I'll just wait till like two days after Christmas. No. Well, Friday, <laughs> Friday I, was, I was in the garage here setting up, uh, getting the new uh, or the 50 watt laser set up. And I just, I burnt myself out all day. I was trying to get that thing dialed in. The water hooked up, the venting, uh, the air, all of it. And then I set up my um, dial laser in the enclosure I made for it. And by the end of the day, I was like, all right, I, I'm, I don't want to do this today. I'll wait. And then yesterday I had a wedding and I was gone 
from like noon to 1 a.m. So I didn't have time. So today I was like, I'm doing this. Um, oh, Dustin says, I already entered. Nice. So we, we got this open. Uh, it's bubble wrap. It is. Woo! Oh, <laughs> that's how that's how I, I upcycle and just get rid of all my trash. I just load it up into boxes and send it. To people. I was testing the uh, 50 watt laser and I've been cutting up boxes and just burning the cardboard. And like, I guess you could do well. Yeah, but it's really cool. I'll show you when we're when, after I after it. I get this off. I have a, some really cool stuff I did on cardboard. I'm pretty stoked about it, actually. <laughs> um, you get, you get one of your yeah. canvas pieces done yet. What was that? Did you get one of your canvas pieces done yet? Yeah. Well, I got a little one done. Um, did you get the picture? I sent one. No. Did, did... no, I'm telling you. My 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 internet yesterday was janky, and today has been janky. And, uh, yeah, no, I've, like, rebooted everything, and, like, nothing's poured, poured through. And, um, How dare so, you? Yeah. That's um, what I paid for. It's awesome. <laughs> love, love it. Um. Here, let me do this. So this is... Uh, yeah, yeah, Kit, obviously. Oh, that's awesome. So that was done on Canvas. Yeah. I think a little all bit, of a little bit of our supernatural junkies. Yes, I love it. A little <laughs> bit overburn on um, on the white, but I'm this was the first one I tried, and so I'm just trying to dial in these settings. So on this, I literally just took a white canvas... I painted it black and then, uh, and this is a matte black. And then I, I was like, how much power do I think it's going to take just to burn the black off? And yeah. to be fair, I did do a test tile and, and kind of dialed it in closer where I did a whole bunch of uh, tests and then I kind of did a, you know, speeds and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so that's, that's that one. Now, um, did you just do rattle can black, or did you use like an acrylic? Uh, it's just rattle rattle can rust -Oleum flat black. Cool. Um, so here, ah, oh, oops, I stopped sharing the screen. Everybody's like, unbox the stuff already. So here's some stuff I did in cardboard. That's cool. So uh, this is just a cutout, you know. Yeah. And then. This is actually burnt in. Um, there we go. Ooh. So I, I burnt it in, and then I cut it out after. So that's the Welsh dragon, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's that, kind of fun, just messing around on cardboard on the on the uh, fifty watt. Um, that has potential for like table looks sick, looks sick. Well, it could be better. Yeah, German. If you wanted like terrain that would fold flat, that you could just like plug together at the corners. That'd right, be, that'd be really slick to be able you to could. do castle walls and whatever all else. Well, and think about I, I've saw some videos. People are using cardboard, right? Because it's cheap and everybody gets yeah. it with their boxes, and, and then they're, they're like it. painting it with acrylic paints to harden it up. That's cool. So, and then this was a tile. This is a, a black tile, yeah. and this was a gloss black on this tile. So. That's how it looks, you know, right under the laser. And then when you look at it, that's when you tip it up towards you, that's what it looks like. Yeah, I need a I need a Sam tile to surprise my wife with. Just chat me. We can make it happen. No internet buddies. Unless well, just don't you know, I'm just joking. <laughs> All right, what do we got in this box? Someone David how David's like, unbox the crap already. All right. So Oh boy. It looks like <laughs> it looks like uh I know what this is already, but just in case, uh, like I didn't I didn't know how behind the times you were, like if you were still into like cassettes, but uh <laughs> yeah, everybody needs a cassette player. Yeah, it's a little cassette player, some headphones, um painted. I would call it weathered, weathered nicely. Uh it is a Sony <laughs> Walkman. Yes, yes, it is. What was that? It is a Sony Walkman. <laughs> it is. I, I imagine it is. I don't know. Sure. Realistic. <laughs> no. I might have to get some tapes. We'll get some tapes out. Very specific uh, tapes. 
Old school Walkman. All right. Let's see. Was that an image from my Rebel days? Sure. There is not a mixtape inside, but but Kit's Kit's getting hot. Oh man! Look at this. So, so tell me about this. Uh, it pops. Pull it up. Yeah. <laughs> well, at this point, you've got it figured out for what it is. I, I got it figured out, and someone in the chat yeah. already has it figured out too. But those those are the Nerf ones, man, with a with just a quick and dirty repaint on them. And oh, nice! They get the job done. Plus, right. Plus, they actually shoot. Like if you grab like the the top and the back, there's no darts in them, but you can cock them. Yeah. Oh, no way. Yes. That that's phenomenal. Good bartender. Yeah, and then you and then you could be oh darn it. No. <laughs> oh man, this is awesome. So so you took a, so you took the nerf ones and you refinished them. Yeah. Sweet. Well, that's you know, that's probably better than recreating the wheel, right? And you um, said and you said you created this for a Halloween costume, right? Yeah, this was this was a quick and dirty, man. You know, I uh, I did this years ago, and it's been floating around my shop. And uh, and you, you you like looked in the background and commented on it like twice, and I went, "It's time for it to go to someone else who will enjoy oh, it." Oh man, <laughs> it, might, it might have to sit in my background now. Hear that, or someone's gonna call the cops on me because I'm gonna be running around and. Oh. <laughs> All right, what else we got in here? Oh, we got some boots with a little jetpack on them. Nice. That's a quick and dirty. There's a whole different animal between you know building stuff for collect for private collection, building stuff that's gonna go on a shelf for display right. and then building stuff for for quick and dirty you know you're gonna beat up on it out in halloween i think that's like a like a three dollar set of uh of like kids <laughs> crappy binoculars with a whole bunch of crap glued on to them just the <laughs> general look and keep on, on going that's okay it looks cool that's <laughs> awesome man but those ought to fit like unless you've got like mass calves bigger than mine I think uh, I think those ought to fit you. Nice. Now I'm uh now I'm excited to see the other box because, well, I know what's in there now. I figure with Halloween the chat, uh, do you know what it is already? Yeah, Ronan got it. Um, <laughs> a couple other people called it. It's a. It appears to be Star Lord, and and it's North says, please say there's a Peter Quill helmet in there. <laughs> I just love that part. I'm sorry. Yes. I have Nerf, I, I have a, a Nerf like AR fifteen style in the house. So you got I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna have to go load them up and go after my wife. Um, no, <laughs> picks or it's not happening. And yes, I'll break these down before I throw them away. I saw somebody comment on that. No, I no, promise. No, you have to only like tear them in the middle, and that way, small baby turtle heads get like caught in them and stuff. <laughs> I don't condone baby turtle heads getting stuck. In <laughs> um, awesome boots. Let's see. Hey, RC Maniac says, oh, no, it's Matt. Yeah. Uh, sorry, dudes. Everybody's getting tired of staring at my face. I get tired of staring at my face in the mirror every morning. Uh, Dan's in the house. All right. Sorry about all the noise here, but this feels like uh, we're going to make It's North's Day here. As much as it's making my day. Hi, Dan. Thank you. What up? Bro crush. <laughs> oh, man. There you go. Oh. That was my my last uh, my last uh, resin, resin cast. I haven't what? done it in, in five years since. I've just 3D printed everything. But, yeah. So you resin casted this? Yeah, yeah. It's it's a hand hand sculpt and make mold and and cast it up and all the all the silver is uh is rub and buff. Everything's stand nice and smooth and then uh, and same for the gold actually, like the antique gold. 
I'll rub a buff in there. Nice. So, so it looks like uh, it looks like there's some lights in here. Yeah, yeah. You should have just a little a little push button on the on the bottom of that bat. There you go. Oh, you had it there for a second. Did it get banged around in shipping? No. Um, maybe maybe the battery. Hang on. No, they were good before I checked them. So if you press that one more time, they go to solid. There you go. Oh, um, it must no. be the battery. I'm holding on to it with my finger. Just a little short. There but, we uh, go. Yeah, that's uh that's uh two 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 plates of acrylic with uh with a ring of LEDs on the center and like it looks right from the outside, but I tell you, man, wander around in a dark room with that. Hell, even in a well lit room, it sucked. <laughs> that is sick. Now you just have to touch your hair to go with it. Hang on, hang on real quick. I got to do something. Oh, the screen is too bright. I was trying to turn off my lights. <laughs> <laughs> and I was I was going to see it in the dark, but now my my uh, giant screen in front of me is is too bright, <laughs> but um I'm just trying not to blow everybody's Googles up when I'm yelling at it. All right. I have to take that one out of there. All right. But anyways, no, this is phenomenal. So this is a, a Star-Lord helmet from Guardians of the Galaxy. Will it fit? <laughs> Jerry's tempting me here. Um she has not with, with, with glasses on. I'll tell you that right now. It's uh, it's snug. I mean, it's it's, it's snug. That is phenomenal, man. I and you, so you you made a mold and then you cast this straight out of resin. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. I did a I did a run of them at the time, um, and this must have been I don't know, probably six years ago, somewhere in there. Um, and uh, I had a whole slew of friends that wanted them, and so sat and sculpted it up and and made a mold and, and cast them and right. uh, that was the last one out as the silicone tour so <laughs> and then after this you uh you started 3d printing them right is that what you said yeah yeah i think i got i got my first printer like uh probably three or four <laughs> months after that and uh and i haven't poured silicone since probably <laughs> over, overdue for doing it again but in the in the chat, they're telling me I have to put it on, but my hair has to come out the top. Oh no. yes, at a bare minimum. Uh, all bare right, minimum. we're gonna see if it gets stuck. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so so if someone hit record, because if this gets stuck, it's gonna be phenomenal. <laughs> oh yeah. Perfect size. Yes. I love awesome. it. I don't know if you can hear me, but I can hear myself really well. Oh yeah, you're loud and clear. Oh, I'm I'm loud and clear for sure. <laughs> uh, I'll have to I'll have to rearrange with my hair coming out of the top here. Like, nice. Look, I got my hair. Look, it got my hair. See, you gotta like you gotta at least like bleach it for Halloween. Temporary temporary bleach. <laughs> uh, wig a wig. I can um I can see, kinda. Uh, yeah, I, I can definitely see out of it. It's just it's red, right? And and um, because the screen is so bright, I can see the screen for sure. But the, the other thing is, I didn't have I took my glasses off, so I can't like, really see. Like, like three tries to make too, because uh, you know you you so you've got your you know your your two panes of of acrylic, and then you go through and you mount all of your LEDs. But you know you have to you got to glue everything together, and so you know you use like. CA glue, super glue, it has a tendency to want to uh, create like a fog effect. And the first, uh, the first two tries just fogged them out really bad. Fogged out. Best did of the you, three. But even if they were perfectly clear. How did you cut the acrylic? Just you just cut it with a knife or something? No, cut it on a on a bandsaw. Just uh -huh. sit and out your circle and sit and patiently do it. And buzz. Andreas is perfect fit. Well, now we have a laser. So if you need some acrylic cut. Yes, got you covered. Um, um, networking. Yes, networking. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Hang from your feet when you put it on to get your hair to come through the top <laughs> on camera, of course. Uh, I tell you, if I hang from my feet, I might, 
I might fall down. All right, well, let's see what else we got. More in the, we got more in the box. There's more, but wait, yeah. there's more. If you stick around for another five minutes, no. Oh. <laughs> um, can you put blue lens on the inside to counter out the red lights? I think it'd be easier no, to see. You probably could, but you, it would it would ruin the the exterior effect. Um, you know, I, I I tried red lenses. I tried clear acrylic and. Uh, the, the clear was the closest thing to to replicating the the right. film the film use and stuff and I think they did theirs the same same way. All right, what do we got here? What do we got here? Holy crap! Is this all one piece here? Yeah. Holy mother of rolled up mercy! I gotta have, find... have, have fun sweating inside that thing for Halloween. I have a feeling that's what's gonna happen. Um, I don't know if I can get far enough back to show this, but look at this. Oh, let's see. Oh, man. You got that. You got to pop the collar, of course. I mean, uh, yeah. yeah. And uh, for those of you who think this is, might just be a, a jacket, it's not. This thing is sick, and it's huge. Should we try it on? Yeah, I, I hope, hope it's. It I think. See, like I think you're a little bit taller than I am, but otherwise, I think we're both about the same size. I think you're a little bit skinnier than me. No, <laughs> I, I may have been back then. Not so much these days. Oh yeah, no. Oh. What do you think? Yes. <laughs> It matches uh, my my blue shorts and THUD shirt, right? <laughs> um, nice. That's sick. Did you did you have to do stuff to the coat here? Yeah, yeah. That's uh, that's all this like maroon pleather from Joanne's and uh, <laughs> turn it out and uh, telling you, man. You know, I I didn't I hadn't touched a sewing machine until uh, until I got into the Star Wars stuff and. Uh, yeah, a little, a little bit of a labor of love sitting, pattern everything out, and uh, and uh, and and stitch in the details on it. <laughs> Dante from DMC. So wait, so you made this coat? Yeah. Crazy. So it's not like, hey, I bought a pleather coat and I modified it. No. Nice. So here's here's what I'm gonna need. <laughs> This is phenomenal, everybody. Hey, I just got to say something first before I say what I'm about to say. Thank you so much, man. This, no this seriously like, made my just, day. I, uh, <laughs> it's just my way of saying thank you and, and passing something on that's been floating around in my collection for a while. And I'm just I'm glad you like it. And I hope you enjoy it. So uh, now it's incentive to lose weight and cut my hair. Yeah. Um, yeah, <laughs> Sweet B says, "Sweet B fifty two, Matt, will you please adopt me?" Oh man, you know I. Uh, no, thanks. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't do kids or people. He just does animals, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. I just give him dogs, and uh, and uh, I'm you know I'm not responsible enough to, you know, be in charge yeah. of someone else's life. I barely have my own crap together. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I. I can't thank you enough. And and people are like, dude, that's awesome. So someone just said what I'm about to say. Uh, it was Jerry. He said, now we need to build a mannequin for you to put that on in your shop. So what I'm going to need <laughs> is a life-size Peter Quill <laughs> to, to put back here. No. <laughs> yeah, you know, I tell you what. We can probably find uh, a, uh, a 3D model of his head. And uh, if I if I measure it up ear to ear and scale it up, all we got to do is find a mannequin, preferably one of the headless ones, and then we glue his head on, and then done. Um, Amazon, Amazon for mannequins. I could do that. Amazonikins. That's the Star Lord. Yeah, this is sick. I'm I'm super pumped, man. I can't thank you enough. Uh, I, I I know how I'm starting the hot make show tomorrow. Um, yeah, it's not bribery. It's uh, it's simply no. thank you because I keep popping up on it, and 
Um, and it's, it's like I said, you know, for, for, for a little one man operation like me, um, you know, just, uh, trying to, trying to get the word out and, and keep people coming in and asking questions and buying stuff for me. Um, especially during these, uh, wonderful COVID times that we find ourselves in, um, it, it's, it's a bigger deal than, uh, than I can express to you. And I'm, I'm just genuinely grateful for, for the word of mouth and publicity and, uh, and it's been a huge help and it's just my way of saying thank you. So oh, I, I I appreciate it. I can't thank you enough. Uh I, I'm super pumped to start uh the hot make show tomorrow with the Star Lord dancing in the you know <laughs> Yes. <laughs> put the whole thing on and then you know the, the countdown will come on and then it'll go through the intro and it'll just be me like, you know, oh nice. Somebody nice. asked. My little uh, Mad yeah. Max. I like it. So, so you're you're uh, uh, not not to jump ship here on the on the subject, but you're a supernatural fan, right? Um, you know, I I made it like the first um, man. My wife has rewatched it so many times. Like supernatural to her is like what Star Trek is to me for <laughs> you know, seasonal, you know, annual rewatch stuff. And I think I've made it, I don't know, probably six or seven seasons in at least with her, um, kind of watching with one eye. But uh, I, I may have kind of given up a while back. But, yeah, between her and her friend, it's uh, it's all, you know, Team Dean. And uh, nice. I, I think there's a day that goes by that I'm not reminded that, you know, should that opportunity arise, I'm getting kicked to the curb. So <laughs> you know, I'm in the same boat as a lot of other guys out there. <laughs> That's too funny. That's too funny. Well, let's see. Um. Yeah, <laughs> so with that face, no less. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's too good. And uh, we got a kitchen remodel coming up soon. I gotta see if I can uh, talk her into that. We'll just there just we go. A tile or two in. Yes, that would be funny. Is that now? And I could do it. I could do it on these. I'm know, a, yeah. where they're where they're hardcore etched in. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I'm real curious for the ones that, that aren't, that aren't locked in quite so tight. You know, I think, I think a, 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 a two part, uh, epoxy coat would be, would be the bee's knees. Like you'd probably have to do a little bit of cleanup around the edge unless you. Right. Like uh, something like this and then epoxy over it. Yeah. Because you get a nice clear glossy finish. You don't sacrifice any f visual fidelity, but then you've got a, a hard, a hard finish over the top of it. Nice. Whoa. Find me. There we go. Now I'll have to try that. Um, maybe we'll have to talk and I'll have to uh, get, pick your brain on that. Cause that's a good idea too. Cause then you wouldn't be able to scratch it. Not as easy. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I think I mean, still technically could, but Marcus was an extra on supernatural. Nice. We need what? autographs. Right. <laughs> he was an extra. What'd you do? Uh, Marcus. And Auto Drop says <laughs> Supernatural ended on seven or eight. They've just been milking it since. Officially, I think they're actually done now, though, aren't they? Uh, yeah, that's what my wife was saying. Yeah. She said that like they're finally on the second second half of like the final ever season, which that's <laughs> going to be really crazy for those actors to have basically had their acting like major debut career, like, yeah, all on that career, and to have done it for. I mean, what? Are, how many? How many seasons are they on now? Like uh, fifteen. I think Zolan just said fifteen is the last one. So yeah, I and mean, like, and they, can you imagine they, like working with the same folks for fifteen years, the same cast? Well, not only group. that, but they didn't uh, in the in the early seasons, especially they didn't do this new garbage where it's like ten episodes. It was like twenty yeah. or twenty five episodes per season. Yes, yeah. like I well, I mean, you look like you you go back and you watch like behind the scenes stuff on like old TV seasons where it was like 22 episodes and how grueling it was to do it. I can understand folks not wanting to do that, but that being said, 10 episodes or five episodes and I got to wait six months until like the other half. Oh, that just, made, I, I can't do it. I just, I, I, it breaks me. I, uh, I'm not solid enough. Um, yeah, no, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, um, man, thank you. I, uh, if you guys didn't see, if you're just getting here or something, uh, he he sent me some some Star Lord stuff from Supernatural. This is uh, one of the guns 
And this is a, a reprinted slash kind of rebranded Nerf gun. So it yeah. actually fires. And, uh, man, I'm super pumped to play with this thing and, and get it all together. And uh, it just it's so fun to do that. I don't, I don't know. I'm just... Yeah, I'm telling you, Nerf darts. Nerf darts and people's foreheads go hand in hand. That's <laughs> last day. <laughs> nice. Oh, man, too good. Hey, Norris is in the house. Uh, how you doing, Chris? Um, hey, since you just popped in, I don't know how long you've been here, but but Matt here hooked me up with a sick resin cast Star Lord helmet. Um, and this thing is this thing is phenomenal. Let's see if I can. I think I got to hold the battery. There we go. Maybe, maybe. Oh, yeah, I think it's the battery. There we go. Look at that. And and he resin casted these, and uh, this was sitting in his his collection. Actually, right behind him uh, is where it was, and it's not there anymore because it's here. <laughs> Thanks, man. I I really I can't say thank you enough. Um, you need no a you need a need a mullet to Star Lord. Yes. Um, but I think I think behind me somewhere, like you know, up here or something, we might it's, have to. It's all about the short sides, crazy top, like you know, <laughs> business in the front, like, party in the rear. Is that how it goes? Kind of got it going on. I've got it going on. Joel's kind of got it going on. Uh, yeah, it's 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 the trend. It's not fucking the trend, man. One of us. One of. <laughs> uh, I'll be I'll be the rock star lord. Yeah, like, you know, the the rock version. You know, <laughs> no. Um, nice. I I love it, and uh, thank you so much. I'm just reading some of these things. Uh, Nuri says, "Happy victims." True true story. Kit is here, and 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 Kit said, uh, "Howdy critters." So, um, <laughs> carrying that across. But but uh, man, I again, I can't thank you enough. I think um, I think we should talk offline about doing another project, and I won't say it right now because I want to surprise everybody with it. Um, and, and I've kind of alluded to it a couple times in, in chat back and forth, but I think we should do it. Um, now we just got to figure out which, what to do. Uh, ideas for days. That's what I do. Ideas for days. I like it. Yeah, no, we'll come up with something and, uh, and, uh, and bring some rope, rope another body in and, uh, and have fun with it. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> I love it. That's gonna be that's gonna be pop man. And the Ender Extender maker marks in the house. Uh, Ender Extender, Woo. right here. Yes, there it is. So uh, that video for for the first part of this video is shot and being edited now. Um, so you should see Ender Extender within the next week. We'll call it it within the next week. Um, so uh, thank you. Uh, it's gonna be awesome. Zolan loves his. So they brought out what the Ender 3 XL, but I don't even think that's as big as the Ender Extender. I think that's just 300 by 300, if I remember right. I have to go double check. Go up, go up uh, to 400 on the on the Extender, yeah. What was that? You can go up to 400 on the Extender. Yeah, this one, the the kit I have is the the 400 by 400 kit, um, and the Ender 3 big, Max isn't big enough. Someone said, but yeah. Um, this is the 400 by 400 kit here. No, here. And then, um, actually it's going to be 500 tall. So I got the XL, the 500 version, and I'm super pumped to put that on. I just got to get it filmed and, and on there. Nuri says, um, XL is 300, 300 by 350. Um, so it's still smaller than this kit. And I'm not sure what the price on that is. I have to look. Um, Zolan says he's got the XL kit four, four by five um with the big easy flex on it nice so that's I, I, like i don't have an ender so i don't know that much about it it that's a that's not just like extension pieces it's i mean it's wiring extension it's a larger bed i would assume too yeah i mean it's yeah you can you have to get the large bed so it comes with the aluminum plate and they yeah. uh they suggest you buy um some other like a piece of glass or something so what they what they actually sent me was a big piece of creality glass to go on it um which is pretty awesome and uh man it's it's super pumped um i just got a chat i thought there was somebody looking for the stream but um i i, sh I think I, sh I show the glass in the video and then i didn't put it on because i'm going to keep going and do the next part of that 
Um, but yeah, they give you all the parts you need, almost all the parts you need as far as building it goes. Um, and then you should source your own glass or buy the one from them because you, you definitely want to make sure it's flat. I mean, that's a big piece of aluminum to, to get flat. I think, uh, I think even back in the day on, on my, uh, I buy the, 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 the S4, um, uh, CR 10 and that first initial glass was warped and it gave me heck for months until I finally ordered right. a, ordered a thicker piece. Yeah. Um, cool. six, six millimeter bed is what someone said 128 for the xl which isn't bad at all um i don't know how much they're gonna they're gonna charge if they're already selling the uh, ender 3 max or something uh, i gotta look at that i didn't ask for one i didn't get one um mostly because i have a couple i have too many ender threes for one but i have this which is going to be bigger than the max <laughs> so there's that um someone oh wait zolan put a hermera on his nice so, I'll, uh, I'll be, when someone I'll be said to, uh, to retract that statement because I don't think there's ever any such thing as too many. <laughs> what? Who? Who said what? You. You're like I think I have too many Ender threes. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, th for the space, you know, that's that's an issue. So uh, behind me is you could see the Ender fives hiding in this, and I think um, right here is an Ender three. But uh, yeah um nari says he'll be doing the ender 3 max this wednesday awesome so who's in the name what did you miss a full star lord costume uh or or um what do we call this costume Co cosplay outfit i don't know it's a halloween costume <laughs> <laughs> oh man nice it, it is awesome thank you so much i cannot wait to uh maybe i'll have to get the whole outfit on and have have Lindsay take some pictures and I'll, I'll put the hair up through the top for you guys it'll be fun um <laughs> but uh yeah but man thank you so much um what, what else was i was gonna i was gonna show you something but i totally forgot what it was now because i'm my brain is star lorded out Laser canvas, laser can. I, yes. Well, I showed you the little one, right? Yeah. I don't have. See, here's the trick. I don't. <laughs> I got a paint, and it's been cold and rainy here for a couple of days, and I don't necessarily just want to paint in my garage because it stinks. Um, but uh, I had to paint some canvas and get it ready. And when I do that, I need to film that for videos I have coming up. So gotcha. it's kind of like a double-edged sword. I do need to do it, but I want to pay, film it too so I can put it in the videos. Um. I'll definitely post pictures in your group, Jerry. Um, Star Lord cosplay outfit, yes, custom made. Even even the coat, the coat is custom made, and it's awesome. Yeah, I haven't. Uh, you know, I think I, I got the sewing machine for like little projects around the house, but usually it's just fixing stuff at this point. I don't really do too much in the way of patterning or, or stuff, but, but I miss it. <laughs> <laughs> we could fix that we could we could find something for you to sew i think i gotta rip in some jeans no <laughs> that's, how, that's uh, how i keep my clothes fixed these days yeah right hey uh battle cry has an amazing idea let's dress the little guy up as rocket yes yes, yes. i love it and then we can, I can i can get Lindsay. uh get Lindsay. Hmm, what should we do for her? I probably should let her figure out what she wants to be, but you know, here I'm planning this myself. Halloween, baby. I'll lose uh well, well shoot. I don't know if I'm gonna lose enough weight in that minute much time. We're halfway there, but um, but lose some weight and uh go from there. Nova, have a great evening, day, night, wherever you're at, Nova. Uh, we're about out of here too. I've got a couple more minutes. I'm gonna bail here in about five minutes. Um, Gamora, there you go. That's a good idea, battle cry. Um, but I just wanted to jump on again and I got these boxes. They've been sitting and burning a, you know, hole in my eyeballs. Cause I haven't opened them in two days. And, you know, to be honest, this is worse than having three printers up on a shelf right here that I haven't unboxed yet. Like, I'm not joking. This is worse because I was like, Oh God, you know, um, I, I, thank you. No, it, it, it is. It, that was phenomenal. <laughs> i love it man but thank you again uh, i know uh, there should be a link in the description where where people can find you um if not i'll make sure that's there and uh you know i i appreciate i know you weren't doing this for any any kind of 
media or exposure or anything. You were just shooting it over because I had my eyes on it for a while and and I keep commenting on it. Next thing is sausage is going to show up at my door, but that's another story. Uh, <laughs> no, but uh, but you know, I wanted to do a little video for everybody, show them what it was. Um, you know, if this is just what. You, you think about sausages showing up to your door. Imagine what we have to build that's going to show up on Pooch's door. Yes, <laughs> that would be. Um, I've been. Yeah, I've been. I'm, I'm getting ready to start haunting the Goodwills. I'm going to start <laughs> looking for one of those like '80s black <laughs> porcelain cougars. Yes, <laughs> for, the, for the cougar cage. It's all about the cougar cage. Um, but but the thing is like. I was going to say, if you call this a Halloween costume, right? I can only imagine what one of your actual show pieces, uh, what yeah, you put into uh, that, you know? So like, I don't, I don't think there was ever a, a like a full blown, like replica costume that didn't, you know, have six months of research ahead of time before a tool ever got lifted. Um, it just, uh, that's a whole whole different animal i think you know there there again you know like i i don't i hesitate to call that one a replica simply because i think there were there were some details on it that got a little juicy with but um I think it's close enough for government work and to have go out and have fun and, and plus it's halloween it's like the one legitimate day that you can get dressed up and go out and have fun you know without being in a on getting called <laughs> right. well and the thing is like the difference like you said earlier i mean to be honest, this is phenomenal. This is great work. I mean, resin cast, you painted it. Um, but the difference between something like this and like a, a hero piece that's going to sit on a shelf is that you're not taking this out if it's a hero piece. You yeah. know, I can actually use this. And that that's the cool part. I, I don't feel like um, I don't feel like I have to be so touchy. I'm going to break it. You know, now, if you sent me C3PO. All right, I'll be careful with that one. But I no, <laughs> I think three PO is probably more durable than that helmet is. Like, oh jeez, I, I, you know, re resin and helmets. I'm like, you get the you get the details, and it's all it's all pretty. You drop it, game over, man. <laughs> so don't fall it with the helmet on is what you're trying. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. Well, thank you again. Thank you so much, man. I I really do appreciate it. You made my day. Uh, you made. I mean. And, and you never know if you're watching out there. Uh, you, you never know how I'm going to start to stream tomorrow now, because because I don't even know right now. I might just surprise Pooch, and uh, when I when I pull, oh, I have some ideas. This is going to be funny. <laughs> we'll see what happens. We'll see what if I can get my jetpack. If I can get a zip line built in here overnight, maybe. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> if I see legs go flying by with coattails behind it, it'll be worthwhile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then you hear then you hear a crash in the side, and I, yeah. I, I, I really a couple of I, uh, yeah. I I'm really stuck for hot makes tomorrow, uh, just because I've had my head so buried in other stuff. I have not been watching social media all that much, so I'm really curious and excited to see what everybody else has been working on. And uh, evidently, I've got like an hour and 19 minutes left before I'm done uploading uh, part five for the Ecto build. So uh, sometime this evening, that'll drop. Keep your keep your nice. So, nice. Yeah. I'm so pumped. And don't forget tomorrow, if you're still watching tomorrow, uh, Sven from Clock Spring. I mean that yes. that's gonna be sick. He, I don't how his mind works with all these boxes, which oh. I don't have near me right now. Uh, is ridiculous, but for print and play stuff, yeah, no, it blows my mind. I, uh, I'm, I love having people like that in the community. Is it just, uh, yes, it makes the end result that much cooler, <laughs> right? All right, everybody. Well, I gotta get going. Uh, I promised Lindsay only an hour. It is, uh, it is my time with the little guy so she can have some time too. But thank you again, man. Matt, no hang worries. out right there for a second, but thank you again so much. I can't say thank yeah. you enough. Uh, I, pr I might just put this all on and walk into the house. I might just, you know, I might scare the living crap out of my little guy, but it'll, it might be funny. Hey, just teach you <laughs> an early age. Right. <laughs> I love it. Thank you again all for uh, hanging out with us. Don't forget if we get to 20 K by the end of the month, which is uh, we're about a little, a day or two over halfway there. Um, we're giving away a couple printers. If not, we're still giving away a printer and a whole bunch of stuff. 
um, TH3D, Printed Solid, uh, Wham Bam, uh, Creality. I'm trying to remember them all right off the top of my head. But but thank you again. Um, I really appreciate it. Everybody's saying thanks, and we'll see you tomorrow. Uh, have a great night, everybody. And uh, if, if you didn't catch what I got, go back and watch it again because it's phenomenal. Thank you again, and y'all have a great night. See you later, everybody. Bye. Bye. <laughs>